Hi, this is Joe Marie, cultural ambassador here at Miramar Arts Park and Cultural Center. And I'm inviting everybody to come out to all the fab, well, you know we have fabulous shows every year. This year is exceptional. And we want you, we need you, and we love you to come out and enjoy all of the wonderful talent, all of the wonderful programs, and bring a friend. Bring a friend, bring the kids. We have kids programs, we have everything. And this film festival is Mommy, I'm a Bastard is a mixtape of home movies, broadcast news, clips, and hard spoken letters. The film is directed by Max Barbara Cole, portrait of the three diverse families linked by his adoption. Initially slated to be a jealous tribute to kinship, what surfaces is the lingering feud between his biological and adoptive families. There will be post screening discussions with Bennett Barbacol, who's the brother of Max and producer and composer of the film. I'm Bennett Barbaco, producer and composer of the film Mommy, I'm a Bastard. I was brought here today, invited here graciously by the Southern Film Circuit, which is something that South Arts puts on uh, to play independent movies across the South. I feel empty. I'm not even sure what I'm really after. I've been filming the lives around my own to relive a time before my own all in order to somehow corroborate my very being. I figured the pieces would fit because they always have. Now that they don't, it seems that the one person who might be able to offer clarity is a person I wrote off long ago. A few years back, my mom gave me my birth father's email address in case I ever wanted to contact him. Thankfully, I still have it. Dear Peter, you might have heard from your mom that I'm making a film about my adoption. Your brother had such a wonderful foundation in his adopted family that he, especially when he got the note, uh, the email from Peter, uh, while, he, while he was reading that email, I was really wondering what his reaction was going to be. And I think the reaction was because he did have that very strong foundation to fall back on. I really love that part of the movie. He's always known about it since he could think and talk. And it's not, when all of a sudden 20 years later you're, by the way, you're adopted, that's when some, some change goes down in the body and the mind. But if you grow up, Wendy, his birth mother, is, I, I can't put a label on it, there's no term for it, but she's like a sister or an aunt or a, com, she's a part of the family just like we're a part of the family. You can have three times the family of wonderful people if you do it right. She handed me a and just, uh, you know, let me know that I was in their heart and that, you know, we would always be a family. There were no racial issues whatsoever in the whole, the whole thing. And my mom and dad will admit that everything was just awesome between the families until this was mentioned and it came out of nowhere. I have grown up as an uh, African American, American Indian, and um, I guess, uh, some European as well. Um. I am Jewish. You can't necessarily tell by looking at me. I couldn't tell by looking at her that she's African American. Yeah, exactly. And she really played on that, and it just seemed you have green eyes and auburn hair, you know, so I just didn't, you know, somehow that seemed a little disingenuous to me. This is like a dream come true to be part of this, this uh, circuit and to be, to be able to play our movie at a venue like this with such a wonderful audience. Showing the movie in California was very, a lot of the questions and answers were very technical. What did you shoot it on? You know, what do you edit on? How did you do the music? I love that tonight we were able to discuss, you know, afterwards with the Q&A, the audience asked questions about family and uh, what it, you know, we even talked about racial issues that were brought up in the film and we even talked about the importance of um, it, just the stigma of adoption. So the, we got to the real issues here. I think it connected to people a little bit more than just the technical side of things and really it takes kind of sometimes getting out of Los Angeles to, to have real conversations. Really get insight and be able to uh, do have that question answer session with um, the producer of the film. I think that really added a lot of uh, depth to the experience. You jump right in watch a movie like that that deals with some core humanity issues and that, that's a quick way to connect with the people and then talking outside afterwards, everybody has their own story 
And it's easy to associate when you kind of get into a deep issue, like family and adoption and love and all that. I thought it was wonderful. It was up close and personal. And um, I like the, you know, the opportunity of having to be able to answer questions at the end and get the feedback from him. So I thought that was wonderful. We got to talk about my brother's film and everything in between. So it's an absolute joy and an honor. I rolled up in my rental car tonight and was just so impressed by this facility and how beautifully built it is and how it's quite an impressive facility and I didn't know where it came from and I was asking a little bit about it and the fact that this has been put on by the city. If you're here in Miramar or in Fort Lauderdale, in Broward, you really have to check out the Miramar Cultural Arts Center. I lived in New York for almost 10 years and the one thing that, the one complaint that folks have from up north is, wow, there's no culture in South Florida, there's nothing to do, everything is about going to the mall or going to the club and, and really, there really is a gem right here in Miramar that people really should check out. I think that this, you know, I think Florida and, and the Miramar area, especially being so close to Miami, has a wonderful art scene, especially on the film and music side of things. And I think with, you know, a center like this, which is a a absolutely blew my mind, there's a venue to always be playing wonderful cultural events and there's an audience that's dying for it, so it just takes, you know, connecting those two, those two pieces together. This is really a place where you can really experience it in, in a way that it should be experienced in this type of really great facility. So you really should check it out. You're really missing out on a, a real gem of a place if you don't come down here and check it out. We want you all to come on out and be a part of the family, be a part of Miramar, and just come where culture and everything else meets everything else.